What is up, everybody? Nerding out. We nerding out tonight. Nerding out with Neil. How's everybody going? Happy Monday. We talked about this on the live stream yesterday, and there was enough people who were on board, and uh, they said, let's do it. Nerding out. So we're going to put together the new computer here that we got for um, editing. So these are all components I picked out. Needed a new editing PC. Um, so we went all out on this one because really the computer that I had um, built probably, I think it was 2014 when the, um, the Core i7 6700K came out. So that's a pretty old processor um, by today's standards. And it was really struggling with the editing and the uh, 4K footage from the cameras. So after many crashes in that last uh, grow room video, taking like a jillion hours to render and crash multiple times, it was like, that's, that's enough of that. Because if we're getting this room all done and we're going to be ramping up um production like we gotta i gotta be able to keep up with the editing so mainly this is gonna be an editing pc but it probably will play some games pretty sweet too <laughs> so ready ready for that so what's up out there larry what's up joel jpp what's up the wish of coons norma gee gray wolf what's up everybody so if you guys are nerds like me you're probably pretty excited <laughs> so we'll go over some of the parts and uh what we got here and we'll start putting this thing together, getting it ready to go. So then we can just, we got to install the operating system. Um, and then, yeah, you got to have the NASA hoodie to be technical for sure. <laughs> so hopefully everything's right. Didn't clink this stream. A few of the last ones, you guys know we had some mistakes, but uh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there going. We got the multi angles. So you guys will be able to see inside um, as I'm working on things or putting in parts. And then got the side cam here so we can grab this and bring you guys over and show you stuff close up. So it's going to be going to be sweet. <clears throat> We're going to get this thing going and start putting it all together. So we'll just kind of go over the parts that I picked out for this thing. Uh, what's up, hippie geeks? How's it going, fam? Ben, what's up? Wayne, John. So for the new PC here, we're going we're going big. Let's get the cam set up. <clears throat> So for the main processor for this one, I ended up going with the Intel, um, the new Raptor Lake. So this is the newest i9, uh, 1300, 13,900K is the unlocked processor, but it's a 24 core chip. Um, I think it has eight P cores, which are the performance cores, and then 16 E cores, which are like efficiency cores. So um, just looking at the benchmarks with Adobe Premiere, which is what I use for editing, um, it's scored the highest and had the best results versus like the AMD chips. Um, so they really came back. I think Intel did, you know, I used to be AMD fan a long time ago and uh, <clears throat> I don't know, switched over the Intel cores cause they were really good. I know AMD came back definitely with some of their thread rippers and some of those cores are just beasts. Um, but I just ended up wanting to go with the Intel for this one. Cause the core I nine looks like a, looks like a good one. And it was highest in the rankings for premiere pro and rendering and, and things that I'm going to be most interested for. So that's the processor we're going with. As far as the RAM, I went with um, Corsair, really a big fan of Corsair, just because their stuff is, is always been solid. They've always had some of the best RAM. Um, so I'm sticking with that, going with 64 gigs of their Dominator um, DDR5. So this is like the latest um, kind of fastest desktop memory that you can get. So picked up 64 gigs of that, which is double my, or my old system only had um, 16 gigs. So this is literally <laughs> way more, way more RAM than what the old computer was running. So it'll definitely help speed things up and make sure we don't run out of memory when we're starting to get into really large project files and stuff like that. So that's the RAM. And then as far as the hard drives go, I picked up two of the Corsair. Um, these are PCIe 4X um, Gen 4 hard drives. I have a four terabyte one here just for storing footage. And they're, you know, the Gen 4 PCIe hard drives, the M.2s are super fast. So it has like a 7,000 megabytes per second read um speed and up to 600 or 6850 write speed so it'll be super fast for working with those really large files um, and then i have a one terabyte one that's going to be the main hard drive um, and i do have a few other ssds in my computer i usually was going with the samsung ones um, on my old system there but just reading reports and stuff the um 960 pros and stuff like that from samsung are having a lot of uh issues where they start to degrade really fast when you, when you get the read and writes. 
Um, so that's one thing with these solid state drives, they do have like a, basically a lifespan of how many times the memory chips can be written. Um, and those Samsung ones are just not performing very well if you stay up on the nerd stuff. So got that, the four terabyte one for the footage, one terabyte for the main hard drive. I'll probably end up getting some other extra just random hard drives out of my old computer, putting them in here, because we'll definitely have the space for it. So that's gonna be what's gonna be for the hard drives and storage to power everything. Whew. Going with the big boy Corsair HX1000i. It's a thousand watt power supply, um, but it should be more than enough for the processor in this computer, um, along with the graphics card, which is gonna be what's pulling the most power uh, out of everything. So this is the this is the the <clears throat> power supply we're going with. I see you out there with the grounding. Should I? Probably. Will I? Probably not. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where any grounding straps are right now. Um, and I've, I've built so many computers with no grounding strap and never had an issue. So confident we'll be all right there. But you really should. Definitely. If you're worried about that, definitely ground yourself. Um, as far as the motherboard goes, I'm going with the Gigabyte one. Um, and it's got the Z790 chipset. That's the latest one for the Raptor Lakes. So it's got all the latest stuff, PCIe 5, DDR5 support, made for the new chip, um, the Raptor Lake and everything we'll be putting in it. So this one had pretty much all the features I was looking for in terms of a motherboard. Um, so we're gonna be putting that Gigabyte one in. Cooling for the processor. Gonna be running this Corsair um, H150 Elite or H150i Elite. This is just gonna be strictly for the main processor and it's just got a radiator cooling to keep everything cool and quiet. Um, and I've, I've built plenty of computers with the radiators. I just like them better than your old typical, you know, big copper heat sink fan type situation, which I'm sure if you've built computers, then you definitely know how those go. Um, and then for the main, the main uh, coup de grace, we got the 490 GTX. So definitely pumped about that. Basically the fastest, best video card you can get right now. Um, this is the MSI edition and it does have a radiator um, and liquid cooling with it. So last one on Newegg, it was the only option, but uh, we're, go we're going big, but it's we're definitely gonna help with um, just the processing of the videos, render time, effects, uh, when you do things like stabilization and stuff on your footage, like it, it uses your all that, it's like GPU accelerated, so it'll just make it faster. So instead of waiting like, 10 minutes to 30 minutes to stabilize a clip it, you know hopefully this is going to be insanely faster compared to um <clears throat> compared to my old 1080 gtx which i think mainly that thing had a, a lot of problems with the ram i think the ram was kind of bad in it and just lots of crashing because i'd be in the middle of working on a project and the it would just black screen or the gpu driver would crash and then it just messes everything up so I think this is going to be this is going to be the one. I know they have some issues with these with melting um, power connectors, so we're going to make sure that we get the power connector in there all the way and everything seated properly um, to definitely help try and avoid that because this thing does draw up to 600 watts uh, of power. So it's a beast, and we're going to bust bust this baby out soon. Um, and then as far as what we're putting it all into, it's going to be going into. Um, this is a Cooler Master HAF 700. It's just a ma I didn't realize how massive it was in my old case was a was a half uh, case too, which is it stands for high airflow. So it has two big, huge uh, 220 millimeter fans on the front, all mesh uh, for airflow. <clears throat> and then lots and lots and lots, as you guys will see, fans and options for fans and mounting inside. It's just a it's a mammoth case, bigger than I was expecting and almost so big that I thought maybe it wasn't gonna fit under my desk, but it does fits under there just by a few inches. So definitely a beast case, but it should hold everything really well um, and really good. So I guess we'll, we'll let's get into it. It's gonna be a beast. LN2 pot, no, no, no liquid nitrogen, maybe. I'm not that, I'm not that extreme, but I heard these these K unlocked processors overclock pretty well, um, so maybe maybe I'll try and overclock it. I think it by stock it goes up to 5.8 gigahertz, um, and I see people online pushing it up to six gigahertz pretty easily. So who knows what we'll get into right now? I just want a working computer that I can edit with good and just get that stuff done, which is going to make everything else easier. So I think what we'll do first. <clears throat> 
is go ahead and remove as much panels and things from the case as we can. And then we'll start to install some parts. Ooh, it's heavy. So haven't really had a chance to go through this case much. So we're going to be kind of going through it at the same time together. Um, so hopefully it's supposed to be largely toolless. Um, so we should be able to do most of this without any kind of tools. Set some of this stuff in the pants. I think these just kind of pop off. So it does have a gl glass windowed um, large front panel so you can see in there. Not really going to be able to see much because it's going to be against my desk under my table. <laughs> but maybe if I ever get desk space back, then we'll definitely throw it up on top. It has another side panel here. It is beast. Heaven's back there watching. So the other other panel just has uh, some pretty basic. Um, oh, these are like magnetized. Has some a whole bunch of vents and things on here, so you can <clears throat> get airflow through there. And they do have little wire meshes just to help keep the dust out. That's one thing you usually want in a case is just a lot of airflow because the more air you can get circulating through the better off you're going to be just because heat is like you're the number one enemy to your computer. So as you can see, nice, big, huge, open uh, inside here fits every side mo motherboard you could imagine. Um, but this one is just going to be a standard um, ATX, I believe, or it might be an e, e ATX, but either way, it's going to fit in here. It says everything on here is toolless, so we'll see if we can get through it all without any tools. I do have some tools here. And then I think this front front one kind of pops off. I think there's a lever down here. Ooh. Let me step around. So that all just kind of pops off. You can kind of see the fans in the front here and then all the USB headers. So I did like this one. It has four uh, high speed USBs on the front and a USB-C headphone and mic jack and then your power and reset buttons so definitely looks like a dope case Flip this baby down Ooh. look at that Ooh. maybe like this there we go so here's a look at the inside guys here's your main spot um for mounting your motherboard's going to go here along the top. It has spots you can actually fit dual wide um, radiators. So like the standard one that I'm using for the CPU, you could actually mount two of those side by side. That's how wide the case is. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of like little wire feed through spots here, which is pretty nice. These are all rubberized. Um, and it also has, it looks like, what is this? Oh, like a bottom mount thing for radiators and it looks like it's hinged so you could um it's got a screw in it toolless they lied to me unscrew that she's in there screwdrivers are needed Thanks. What's up out there, everybody? What's everybody smoking on? What's up, Herbert? Your ma. They are only the fans. This case has all the fans. So it looks like it does have a little bracket here. I think you can mount another radiator on the bottom and it actually kind of angles so you can tilt it if you want to kind of like show it off or something. I'm not sure if we're actually going to need this, but it is an option. And there's an extra fan to pull some air from the bottom. Um, it does look like it has actually, this is kind of cool, a filter on the bottom um, of the case. So that way where it's pulling in air from the bottom, it's not sucking in dust balls and cat hairs and all that kind of things. Although ho hopefully not cat hairs because we banished our cats from the room here. Uh, but that's kind of a neat thing. So that just slides in and out. Um, it looks, like, what's that? They're banished banished and it does look like um the pci uh card slot things that's all toolless it actually has like a little flap here you push it in and then it locks down so lock your card in uh let's take a look at the other side so it does look like here maybe we can do like this <clears throat> here we go 
So from this side, it does have tool list uh, removal. So this is, looks like a back plate um, to mount just multiple hard drives. Um, if you have standard hard drives or things like that, you can mount a lot of hard drives on this panel. And it looks like there's, oh, there's a whole bunch of these too. Indivi these are more individual hard drive uh, mounting locations, brackets, they got little rubberized things. All this stuff is toolless. It just has these little turn knobs. Um, so there's multiple brackets of that that can be installed or removed for hard drive mounting. What else back here? This thing. Oh, so this is another whole big hard drive uh, chassis. This is more for like your some of your standard size uh, larger hard drives or your mechanical. Um, and these have all just removable chassis uh, plates with little push tabs so you can rubber grommets. You can just set them in there and then slide your hard drive in. I might, I might not even actually need this just because don't have too many traditional mechanical hard drives. Although I have been thinking about getting some for just like long-term storage of old vid videos that we've edited. I like to save them all. Um, after we've we've rendered them out and then delete all the main footage so it looks like in the back here most all of the cabling and everything is all hidden behind um so you're not really going to see any of this in the build so that'll look clean looks like it does have a rear mounted power supply so the power supply is going to go here actually behind the motherboard uh and then it does have looks like an led control panel where you can hook in your your pimp lights and things like that and it'll control it through the uh through the computer and then we also just a big bundle of just the all the cabling and things like for that for the um for the hard drives and stuff and oh some other kind of panel up top looks like probably maybe fan headers and things like that for the computer side of it but let's get into putting this thing together i think that's pretty much all the components of the inside <clears throat> some other kind of bracket thing here i'm not sure what that is maybe just more for cable hiding but let me let me move some of these bracket pieces and whatnot get you water stay hydrated <clears throat> And it looks like it does have one last, I don't even know what this one would be. Some kind of a, some kind of another bracket here for just cables and things to come through. Maybe this is more of just like a wire heart hider, but it looks like you can actually move it up and down a little bit. Put that one back in. So, and what is this? Some other kind of hard drive chassis thing up here. So I think what we'll start with, probably power supply first and get that in. And then the motherboard and then we'll put in the processor and all that good stuff. Really, really it doesn't take too long. It's just the uh, uh, <clears throat> getting everything out of the boxes probably. <laughs> we'll go ahead and move this out of the way. So it's been a while since I've gotten to build a new computer, so I'm pretty pumped, especially to have uh, one like this. But we really needed it. Heaven was like, just do it. She's like, if we can't edit the videos, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I'm like, I feel you. It's true. So here's the here's the power supply. We're gonna do that unveiling. It is a Benjamin it is a thick case. I was surprised when um, all the parts accidentally shipped when I ordered as I ordered everything from Newegg and uh, I accidentally shipped it to my old addresses, which is actually where my dad lives now. So I'm like, hey, there's a ton of computer parts coming. <laughs> Be ready if you could so they don't get stolen off the porch or something. So he brought he was nice enough to bring those over because we had car issues um, after we went and visited Rob at Franklin Fields on Saturday. It uh car decided to crap out so we brought it into the shop today on lunchtime and they're looking at it and they don't know what's wrong with it so fun car stuff you know so hopefully that's going to be all right but <clears throat> whatever we got computers so power supply is going to go in here um probably just going to put this baby right in 
Do I want it in or I want the fan towards the back? What's the best? I think we're gonna go with the fan this way. Would you look at that? Well, I've never, I've never had a case like that before. Literally toolless power supply install. So let me show you guys. So on the back here, this is where the power supply goes in sideways. Uh, but to secure it, there's just these two thumb screws. So you don't actually even need screwdrivers or screws um, just so you can quickly remove it. I put the fan out this way because I'm pretty sure there's a vent hole here so it can suck air directly in um, to cool everything. But this should be, look like a pretty nice one. It has a PWM, so it will ramp the feed uh, or the fan based on the um, speed and how much power is being drawn. And then when it's low power, it actually turns all the way off. So hoping this system is going to be pretty quiet because nobody likes a loud computer. Um, so that's the plan. But that was, that was a super easy install. Just basically screw those little thumb screws in. And then we're good to go. So we'll move on. Put you back up here. Whoop. And we'll go to the motherboard. Should have gotten Xeon and Enterprise. You know, I always think about that, but it is pretty nice just the compatibility wise. Plus for, for what I'm looking for, which is mainly much faster um, Premiere and multimedia, like these processors score really high and they're not, you know, they're not as, as expensive as some of those other, those other parts can be. So I think this is gonna really work great for what I'm looking to do. Um, plus maybe even play some games someday. <laughs> So I haven't played games in years, but uh, it would be it would be fun to actually be able to. My old computer, I, like I said, I think the RAM was pretty bad in that. And whenever I would get any either in games or just working on stuff that gets too intensive, computer would usually end up crashing or the video card uh, would crash. But here's the here's the new the new Mobo. This thing is wow. This is heavy, much heavier than I thought it would be. Take a look at what else is in the box. Maybe it looks like we got some stickers. Stickers. You get a, get a fancy little badge for your case. Let's see what else we got. We got a Wi-Fi antenna, which this is going to be just hard lined with a gigabit Ethernet. Has an adapter to hook up your um, controls for your power supply. Got a SATA cable. Yeah, I man, where you at? What is this? Is this, is this, this must be a motherboard speaker? <laughs> Temperature probes. Yeah, she's here. I she's know, here. My hair's wet and gross, so I don't want to be out. I don't want to be. I just washed it. But <laughs> <laughs> it's just wet. Right. But, um, I'm, I'm back there and I'm telling them that I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> So it looks like, and then it has some um, like RGB kind of fan headers, couple temperature sensor probes. Um, so nothing major in terms of like what comes with the motherboard. Uh, no, I think I'm good. So we gonna go ahead and bust this thing open. up herbert chris indica vibes what's up fam Ooh, look at this thing let's take a look Whew. here we go if i touched it it would light up if if you touched it it might clink and explode i'm gonna just not touch it I'm, you know <laughs> 
kind of bring it up here so you guys can see. So here's the, here's the main motherboard. Um, we are probably gonna have to remove this top plate because this one um, particularly I got has, actually has I think five M.2 slots, um, but one of them is a PCIe 5 uh, M.2 slot, which is even faster than the hard drives I got. The only reason I didn't go with um, a M, or M.2 PCIe 5 is because if you do put a card in here, it drops the main slot here down to 8x performance. So if I'm putting a 4090 in there, I don't want 8x PCIe, I want 16x. So <clears throat> otherwise it has four um, M.2 PCIe 4, um, 4.0. So I'm gonna put all my main hard drives in those. I'm just gonna actually leave the Gen um, 5 uh, M.2 alone because I don't want it to drop the video card speed. So we'll have to take this off. Um, here's where the processor is going to go. It has uh, four spots for DDR5 RAM. Um, so that's what we got. And then, yeah, it looks pretty solid. Wow, they really have a lot of, a lot more cooling and things on these uh, than what I was expecting. So we'll go ahead and get this thing mounted and then um, we should be good to go. Actually, one thing, good thing to think about Sometimes it's a lot easier to do um, on these kind of motherboards. And usually when you're getting a fancier cooler, if you're not using a stock and generic one, has mounting holes here because um, there's usually a brace for the back. So the back side here, um, there's usually a brace that goes on here that kind of holds and helps support the uh, processor and the cooling unit you're putting on from flexing. And it's usually a lot easier to put those on when the motherboard's out. So I'll probably do that first. Although looking at this case, it looks like it does have complete, um, it's like completely open behind where the processors would be. So I've definitely had cases where <laughs> you have to put something like that in and all of a sudden you have to take your whole motherboard and everything out, which is a super pain. So I think you could probably do it either way. Oh, and here's a look at the connection ports on the back. Mad USB ports, which is what I wanted. It's got a whole bunch of USBs regular. It's got a 10 gigabit ethernet, optical out, um, regular mics, Wi-Fi up here. These are for resetting. Actually has a display port and three PCI, um, or I'm sorry, USB-C ports. So I felt like most computers these days don't have many USB-C, so I wanted to get one that just had a ton of them on there. Uh, I do have an expansion card I can throw in here that adds a bunch to. Um, that I, that's actually in my old computer, so I might take that out, but really, I feel like with the four that this will have, that should be enough to cover uh, everything, because I do have a M.2 external hard drive, two terabyte that I was using for footage, um, just because it was really fast, and that seemed to work out well. You find the Corsair fans a little loud? I hope not, I hope they're not. I was really hoping they would be uh, pretty quiet, but we'll see, we'll see how that goes. So this part, just lining it up, actually we'll be able to put this in without putting that bracket I was talking on because it's completely open. If you guys see right here, that's where the, that's where the back of this is gonna be. So we'll still have full access to that even with it mounted. So we'll go ahead and put it in. It looks like they already have all the standoffs um, for the motherboard there. Although it looks like I might have to take some of this off because it might be blocking the mounting holes where you screw the motherboard into the thing. So actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Take some of these off, these covers off, cause I'm gonna need to get to those anyways, just to get the, um, get the hard drives in. So forget a manual, because we're nerds, we're just gonna go for it. Ain't nobody need a manual. <laughs> it definitely is a beast. Right, so here you guys can see the layout. Here's one, two, three, four PCIe's. Um, so this is gonna be where the hard drives are gonna go. 
So these are all look like they're toolless. Looks like, or they actually looks like they might have some screws in here holding them in. Oh no, this is like, it's got little, um, it's got like therm, these are like thermal, uh, thermal little backs on there. Oh, and they have thermal on the top here. So this would be, if you're installing a hard drive there, you would remove this and then put it on. I think the issue I'm gonna have is because those Corsair um, M.2s already have their own heat sinks, I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, put, them up, put them on there, but they should still fit in just fine. So let's go, let's try and put one of those in here. And then you can usually see on there, they have them labeled like which one is which. On the motherboard somewhere. It's not jumping out at me right away, but let's let's see if these things fit. So, kind of crazy to think that the hard drives are so small these days. But just I don't know if any of you guys actually use these M.2s, but they are just so much substantially faster. Uh, the issue with this one and why it's not going to uh, fit in there, as you can see, it does have a heat sink on there that's pretty thick. So the standard ones you can get, which are just, just the PCB without a heat sink, they're going to sit a lot lower. Um, and I think that's what this was more designed for because this heat, this plate that's going to go on top, like there's no way that's going to fit on with, with this, uh, this in there. So here we go. This is the, this is the four terabyte one. I'm going to put this in the bottom spot. And I'm going to remove this uh, rubberized stuff that they have on here. Corsair has a warning on here not to remove the, the heat sinks. So basically you're just, you're just putting it in to the slot, pushing it in all the way and then pushing it down. These ones have a tool list. It looks like a locking mechanism. How do these little ones work then? I don't think I've ever used one like this before. Oh, it's got a little lip on there. potential prob so <laughs> the um the thickness of these plus this glue tape that they have down i think i'm just actually going to end up removing this here whatever this this like thermal compound stuff that they have i can't it won't press down to lock the uh, mechanism because of the thickness of the uh, heat spreader that they have on here plus um the compound that they already have on the motherboard it looks like let me give it one more try, but I don't want to press too hard, but it should just lock in there. But the problem is it won't go down far enough um, to engage and lock it. Let's try and see if we're close. So close. Well, that just came off pretty much anyway. So we'll just remove that, put this back in, and it should lock it up. It just does not want to lock in there. No. Hmm. 
There we go. So just had to give it a little bit more downward force, but it's definitely locked now and engaged fully. So it's going to hold it in there. Hopefully the height of these doesn't cause any other issues, but like I thought, this is going to be way that sits way too high. So it's not going to be able to actually put that cover plate back on. Not really a big deal because the whole point of that cover plate is to dissipate heat from the PCIe uh, hard drives. So we're just going to go with, with how they are. So the issue is this, um, this is kind of like a thermal uh, pad here just to help dissipate heat. The Corsair also has a heat sink on the back side of it. So it was making it a little thicker, too high to, to engage this little clip right here. Um, so I just peeled that off, went right on, no problem. Um, so we'll just go ahead and install the other one and then we'll get this thing in there and continue on. <clears throat> Oops, head. All right, well, I know I'm gonna have to remove this, so I'm just gonna pull it off right now. Bye. That would be that would be a nice thing if I didn't have these ones, but these ones because they do already have the heat spreaders. Not needed. Gonna need. Oh, babe, can you grab my Exacto knife over there? Got to, always got to have the exactos on hand for cutting these babies open. Oh, the beast one. This is more of a box cutter, but it will work. Would have thrown it in the corner already. Dusty G, yeah, right? I didn't realize, um, it's been a while since I ordered everything, but it's always a good idea just to look at what you're getting, uh, what the specs are in the motherboard you're getting really closely um, to make sure everything's gonna be compatible. So I just, I should have maybe done a little more research, but I'm not too concerned because I know that, you know, if these have their own heat spreaders on them, I'm sure it's gonna do just as an effective of job um, at keeping these things in operating temperature versus some of the other ones so oh no issue number two now so issue number two is the um it's so tight in here with that one in i can't actually fit this one next to it so this one isn't going to install next to this one just because it's so tight right there so we're going to have to go and find another spot that's going to be open enough to fit this. And then it looks like maybe this one, unless I can wiggle that PCIe lock. It's hitting the PCIe, um, the locking piece right here that holds your card in after you fully insert it. The heat spreader is hitting the side of that. So it's like not letting it go in all the way. Well, Dusty, I think you're right. If you're going to order these, um, maybe get ones without. Oh, maybe I just got it. Can I sneak it in there? She going to be tight. Oh. I think that might do it, guys. It's like right there. There we go. There we go. That's it's tight. They're they're neck and neck, but we did get them both in there. So you can see uh, right here. These are the two hard drives. Got the one terabyte. Got the four terabyte. Um, and there's actually two extra slots here. We could put more hard drives in, which I might. I might have another one terabyte SSD um, in my old computer. I'll probably pull that out and put it in here. So now that. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and put the hard drive in. Also, it opened up um, some of these screw hole mounting locations we're gonna need for the attaching the computer to the uh, case here. 
So we want to make sure we get all those grounding points. I'm not sure if that, yeah, that one is actually under this cover. So we're going to have to remove that cover. So this big monster uh, little heat sink right here, this is for a Gen 5 uh, PCI Express, which like I said, I didn't go with that because if you were to use that, then it would make your main um, PCI graphics card slot drop down to 8X instead of 16X. So I didn't think it was going to be really worth it for that one. Um, but here's our last hard drive mounting location. So we should be good to pop this baby in. And line it up with all the standoffs <clears throat> for where the motherboard screws into the chassis. So it looks like everybody's aligned here. We'll go ahead and screw that in. So Cooler Master gave this cool, let me actually clean some of this stuff out of the way. Ugh. Cooler Master gave the whole, whole little Dremel mod? God, I hope not. I do not feel like chopping this baby up, but we haven't even got to the GPU yet, guys. It's going to be a beast. Um, but they did, did came with a nice little case here with all the different little screws and components you'll need. Um, so we can just go through and put these in now and see which, hopefully, which ones are the right ones for the, the motherboard standoff. Maybe I should have tested before I put it in there. We'll figure it out. This one, these ones. What are these? I've never seen these kind of screws that have like a little standoff on them. Like almost like a little finger spin on them. I'm not sure what those ones are for. That's new to me. Probably not for that. Let's see. No? Maybe not those ones. I'm pop this out real quick and just make sure we're using the right screws. <laughs> Go on, read me some of those comments, babe. He said, if he puts the two sticks of RAM in the same channel, I'm out. <laughs> Definitely not putting two sticks of RAM in the same channel. Well, the, yeah, you have to alternate um, with A and B, especially with dual channel. That's why you got the dual sticks. Um, but you do, you can't put them both on the same channel. Otherwise, you're not going to get that performance benefit. So, But we ain't to that yet. Screwdriver, that's going to work. It's just not getting on there. Make sure that the I.O. plate on the back here is lining up properly. It would appear... And so now it's just going around putting in all these screws that actually hold the motherboard to the case before we go through and actually start wiring a bunch of stuff together. Not even really, not even really wiring anything. You're just plugging stuff in. But I'm excited to get this going. We gonna play some games on here, babe? I don't. I don't. Have you ever seen? Me and you play some games. Have you ever seen a computer? 
five. Heaven's not computers. Come on. Doesn't want to grab that. So depending on your motherboard, um, if it's ATX or EATX or micro ATX, um, they always, all the cases usually, as long as it's gonna be compatible with yours, it should have the right cutouts. And then all the holes for mounting are pretty much universal. You can definitely look it up online for what style motherboard you have and where those screws would be. But usually you can tell um, because they have large um, kind of solder bumps around the outer edge. Like on some of these, it's got like a lot of little solder bumps and that just helps make the grounding connection between your motherboard and the chassis when you're actually mounting them all. Uh-oh, this one might not be long. I need a, I need a screwdriver extension. which I think I have in the other room. Give me one second, guys. I tried to be prepared, but never fully prepared. What? Five seconds, I'm back. You trying to sneak in here, babe? You trying to come in? Say what's up? I wanted to look at what you were doing. Come on in. You can, you can walk right up in here. I just want to see. <laughs> she just wants to take a peek at all the nerd Everybody, action. Everybody's saying a bunch of stuff that I don't understand. <laughs> I'm trying to read the chat as much as I can. And I'm like, I don't know. What? <laughs> Hit that bomb. Man, we about to get you this. Can't do this in time. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that right now. We'll wait. Well, after we get this thing all the way done, then we'll we'll venture into that. But just want to get this thing going and at least all together, and then I can worry about. And this is just one part of it. This this is your motherboard. Kept saying we're not even to that part yet. Oh, the video card. That's oh. that's probably the last thing we'll put in. So usually I like to get get the get the motherboard installed, get the RAM and everything in here, um, put my processor in, do that, and then usually like the last thing would be the video card that I do, um, just so you're not banging around, especially with that one because it's going to be so huge, um, and you really the issues they've been having with the power and the and the um, melting of the cables, you don't really want to move it around much once you have it in here. So there's a little sticky plate on here. Floor? Uh, that's like a little display probably shows error codes or if you're overclocking um, It'll show you like information or an error code number this thing looks Like a rocket ship <laughs> It's a it is a rocket ship Are you trying to get that off Computers. Yeah, get it with your little well, fingernails. There's, there's this blue thing right here. Look. I know pull, I can't get my I can't get it I ain't got no nails. I just cut my hands cut my, cut my fingers them? cut my fingernails that would have been a good idea, but... Well, I can't get it now. Do I have to get it from this side? Because now I can't reach it from the side it was supposed to. Yeah, so it's all right. You're going to have to figure that one out. I got it. Leave it there. Nah. <laughs> all right, that's my, that's my involvement. <laughs> Boop. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> got it. So, all right. So that's all done. Actually, we can probably go ahead and slap that processor in here. So most all of them have a... Um, Situ situation kind of like this. This is like a just a protector cover, um, and then this has like a <clears throat> an array here that will set the actual processor on, and then it just locks into place. So we got the i9, 
39 Hundy. Doesn't come with any kind of cooler or anything like that, actually. Props to Intel with a cool little uh, wafer looking case for it. So here's the actual little processor. Pretty small. But usually on these, they're gonna have a, um, a side that's, on, if you look at the processor and you look at the corners, there's gonna be a side that has a small triangle. And then if you look at your um, place where you put it in there, there should be a corresponding triangle to tell you you're putting it in the right direction. So I'm just trying to look at this one and see. So on this one, it's on the top um, silver bracket that goes over. So you can see the triangle in this top corner. That means we'll put that processor in the same direction so the triangles are matching up. And quite simply, you just flip that bracket up, literally set your processor in there, and it should be designed that it cannot go in um, if you're trying to put it in wrong. So you don't ever obviously want to force anything. Dakota's saying hi from their live stream. It said, what's up? What's up, Dakota? <laughs> oh, is he doing a live right now? He is doing a live right now. I wanted to tell you, but you were really into your thing. Right oh. Now. Right. Dang. Well, tell the whole tell the fam over at Home Grow TV what's up. I have, let me hop out there live right now. So you're literally just setting the chip in there, flipping this bracket down, and then this torques it down, and it has a little latch to hold it. So after that, processor's installed. Obviously, you don't really want to touch anything on there or get any kind of fingerprints or grease on top because we're going to put that cooling um liquid cooler on there. So you want to keep that clean uh, and oil free, which is just going to help with the uh, um, performance of that. I think I'm actually, oh, man, I don't know if I put this back on, if it's going to block the, um, if that video card is going to be able to fit. Maybe I'll just leave that off. Eh, maybe I'll just put that back on. Dang, Dakota. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Homegrow TV definitely doing some dope stuff, guys. If you ain't following, you need to be. Oh, totally. It was unscheduled. This was pretty unscheduled too, but after last night when you guys were said, yeah, do the nerd and out stream. I was like, all right, I have to build this thing anyways. Might as well throw it on a live. So, and some people are into this kind of stuff. It's just something else I'm into beyond um, just the growing and, and all that fun stuff. So definitely a nerd at heart. Cool, so processor's done. What is this? Comes with a little, a little book. And you get a little sticker. All right. He's talking about how he's pumped, how we're gonna collab. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. We definitely are planning some collabs with um, Basement Grow Show and Home Grow TV. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that guys. So here's the big, here's the big daddy Rams. These are the Corsair dominators. So I've always had good luck with Corsair Ram. Um, just super solid performance. So excited to see these. So usually on here, it's on your PCB somewhere. Um, and it has listed uh, your RAM slots and it usually even has called out like this one says if you're going to install chips first. So with, with computers with DDR or double data rate memory, um, it works in channels. So two sticks work together um, almost in kind of like a RAID fashion to get faster performance. That's why they call it dual channel. Um, I actually had an old i7 
920 it had triple channel RAM, which they came out with, and then they're like, never mind on that. <laughs> so they went back to the dual channel. So this one says to put it in uh, A2 and B2 first. Um, so that's where we're gonna be installing our chips. And like I said, you wanna make sure they're not on the same channel, um, otherwise you won't get that performance increase of the, of the dual channel. So RAM's pretty straightforward. It usually only goes in one way. You want to make sure you got everything lined up properly with the groove in there. And then really you're just pushing down and the little tabs will lock it into place. And the last one. So the Rams in, now we, we getting close guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the, the Ram, Kevin asks if the Ram is how fast it computes and the, the Ram is what basically all your applications and programs that you run, it's the memory that it uses actively um, to store like data in the program you're working on or what's going on. So like your long-term storage would be like your hard drives and things like that. RAM is for what you're actively working on in your active apps. Um, so really the more RAM you have, the better. 64 gigs is the highest amount of RAM I've ever had in a computer. So I was gonna go 32 and I said, you know what? Let's just go for the gold because I know Premiere loves to eat up RAM. So everything is set here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do now is start going through and putting in some of the power connectors uh, and stuff like that for the motherboard that's gonna supply power to all this and like the USB header connectors and all the stuff for the front ports and the audio and things. So let's go ahead and start pulling, flip this baby up. <laughs> Actually flip it up. Flip it right back down. Slowly. Whoop. Uh oh. A screw or something? That is exactly what it sounded like. Oh no. We got all kinds of screws falling out. Maybe they weren't in all the way, some of these. I felt like I turned them till they were tight. Although some of these, it seemed almost like the. Um, the motherboard uh, portion behind of it was kind of flexing when I was trying to screw them in. So I don't know if maybe where the motherboard was mounting to, if it was just not all the way down. Although, because I don't see any, oh, there's the one for the top there. I don't know where the second one would be. Definitely in there. And just see where there was another one that could be in the wrong spot. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Every other location has a screw in it. You know what? I'm just going to say we're good at the moment. We'll go ahead and get this back over and get this cables unbundled and then see what's up in here. So here's, here's the back of the processor. Like I said, this is so we can still mount that bracket. That's probably going to be for the um, water cooler. All these cables that are pre-installed in the back here is what we're going to have to figure out what's what and then where does it plug in on the motherboard. So it looks like they actually do have some cool little... Um, retention clips here for the for your cable management which is nice who doesn't love good cable management i know i do so we got all kind we got just a rat's nest of connectors back here herbert saying we could short out if we don't get that one so we'll make sure we 
got them all in there. Tons of, what are these, fan headers? What is this? Looks like most of this is fan related. one just to something that's not plugged in or what all the LEDs Boop. fan headers what is this USB 3.1? That's a different kind of connector. This is a USB header. USB 3.0, USB 3.0, HD audio. So I have a feeling most of these are going to be on the bottom. These ones I've never seen. What like what is this one? Doesn't have a name on it. Almost looks like a big, um, like a SATA plug or something. Let me take a look on the other side here and see what is going on where these headers are. So USB, USB 2.0. There we go. 3.2s are up there. So these 3.2, 3 3.2. 3 it's a rat's nest up in here. Feed these around from the back. Flip this baby back. So usually your, your motherboard usually has everything kind of labeled on here. So the USB 3.2, these say 3.2 on them. So these are the plug-in spots for the front headers on the panel. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug them in. And then plug these ones in. That's going to be for the front USBs. Ooh, that's looking clean. Love that. Oh, and there's a plug for that weird USB plug. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and feed that one through. Yeah, this, whatever kind of USB 3.1 plug this is, I've never seen, that's something new. I've never seen a computer with one like that before. So that must be some kind of new plug design. We're definitely gonna feed that in through the same spot because they're right next to each other. go and then what is that one 12 volt ground oh that's just the pinouts for that this almost looks like some kind of a SATA connector or SATA power I'm not sure this is going to be something needed right now or maybe it's something for like light hookups or something so that should be good what else do we got here okay So, 
Oh yeah, all the ones popped? Oh, there we go. They're going to be planting tomorrow. Fans, LEDs, LED. Oh, I think that's a fan header. This is another USB header, which is going to go down here, it looks like. that switch power switch okay let's see I do like how they have those bundled up a little bit. This is a front audio. So this goes, everything basically has its own little header on the motherboard. So it makes it a little easier. All right, guys, I know this is a lot of face down, which might not be the most exciting. But all our seeds pop. Yeah, all the seeds pop. That's exciting. So just another look. Um, got the PCIe cables set. Uh, these are for the front. Um, USB-C on the front and all the um, 3.2s. Got another one here for um, some more USBs. This is over here for the... Um, Another, another USB, which actually runs like a LED control panel, I think, for the case. This is for the front audio. This is for the power switch and the um, reset, hard drive lights, and things like that. So pretty much all that is set. So now it's time to probably start hooking up some of these power supply cables um, and some of that stuff. comes with its own cord sack. All kinds of cables. So cool. These are nice and flat ones. That's kind of nice. Here's the big mamma jamma motherboard one. So we'll start with that. Just feed that thing through. Try and get this thing around here. Oh, 
actually. Yeah, I'll do. Move that. Yeah? Yep, definitely need to do the other side. We're going to do, um, definitely going to do that. So just getting this, like to get the power cables on, get these all squared away, and then we'll move to that side for sure. There we go. That fits in nice. On the back side here. <clears throat> kind of a kind of a lot of rats nasty stuff over here right now, but we're gonna get here's the power supply. Everybody's plugged in tight here. And then there we go. So a lot of these. I don't know why or where this one would be running out from. It looks like a oh, this probably hooks up to the um this is it looks like a SATA power connector and this probably hooks up to the power supply. So it supplies power to these things. That's probably what that is. That's why there's two of them and many. This one actually looks like a fan header that fell off. Up in here somewhere. Hey, what's up, Low Pro? What's up, little e buds? Oh yeah, we are excited. You said Mr. Grow It, the uh, Chill Out OG was popped up. Ooh, they're all popped, you guys. You know what that means? Wednesday live, we're probably gonna be potting up some plants. So we'll have a link up on there for you guys on Patreon. Um, so that way we can get that going. Try and get these cords separated so I can tie them off cleaner later. All right. So that's done. We got a couple more. Looks like there's two more eight pin powers up top. Hopefully this thing has enough of these uh, eight pin connectors. For the video, video card, oh, there's some more in here. Eight pin, eight pin, eight pin. Three of them for the CPU. <laughs> about all of it. I 
these all the same here? Yeah, it'll be sweet to get this thing going though, for sure. What are you doing right now? Hooking up power cables. Um, so the, the motherboard needs two eight pin PCIe powers. Um, so I just plug those in. So it looks like for the most part, that's all set. So really all we have to do is the cooler for the processor and then the graphics card. Everything else should be largely plugged in from what it looks like. It don't look like I'm missing anything. All the power cables for the MOBO. Like the water cooler going in it too. Yup, water cooler. Let's, let's do that, baby. Let's do that. So largely everything here, let me clean up my area a little bit so we can see what we got. Move some of this, all these pieces. Have to go through all these boxes. <laughs> When I was moving out of the old house, I kept finding boxes of computer parts and leftover parts from the builds and things like that. So I was like, oh man, got to get rid of these. I didn't end up chucking most of that stuff because none of the, none of the, the, water for the graphics card. Yep, the graphics card does have a water cooler um, and that actually comes pre-installed. So right now I think what we'll do is the CPU cooler, get that installed and the radiator mounted. And then we'll go ahead and do the video card and figure out where we're going to mount that one's um, cooler. Mm. Looks like the cam needs some batteries. Big cam. Sucking them down. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. So let's get this CPU cooler. Go ahead and slide this baby over to the side a little bit. This is a Corsair one that's made for the um, i7, or I'm sorry, the i9, the uh, 1700 processor socket so it looks like it comes with fans got three three corsair fans hopefully they're quiet here's that bracket i was telling you guys that would go on the back this, this is going to go on the back of the processor um side and it just helps just to provide support and stability um, for the whole uh, processor and socket. It's got different different uh, mounting brackets and things. AMD, AM4. More, more screws. And here is the, oh, uh, I think we're good at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
This thing is all bagged up. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, we still could totally mount a T6 on the front of this thing. Be the super cool. There we go. So here's the actual um, like processor part. Looks like this part comes off. Oh, it's magnetic, so you can spin it around so it's facing the right way. That's kind of neat. That just goes on there. So here's the radiator and here's the actual portion that does the cooling with the pump it has an all copper base. It comes pre-installed with thermal paste on there so that way you can just put it right on top of the processor and you'll be good to go. So we probably want to look at what direction do we want to mount this um, for which way, which way the um, hoses are going to go. So that way we can just find a way that's going to fit in there good um, with the case okay. yeah Move it this way because the dirt is packing up. oh i know i was just i got i got limited room up here so i'm doing the best i can oh yeah i know doing the best i can guys sorry okay. yep here how's that So we're going to look for the retention T4. I don't think we're on a T4. Here's the Intel hardware. And then they have specific screws for based on what socket your processor is. So we got the Intel 1700s. This is the one that I need, but they do have ones for all different sockets and uh, Xenons and all those other different ones. And it comes with the AMDs and, and those ones. So take all this extra hardware, stuff it back in the bag. And then mount this baby. So it's got a bunch of these little standoff pieces <clears throat> for, for putting on there. So these usually go through the front here around the processor and then on the back is where this mounting bracket is going to go. So I'll flip the case up and then put this in on the back side and then secure it with these little screws from the from the processor side. So you can kind of see here, maybe I can even zoom in there a little bit. Got a rat's nest going on. So there's a little bit of like 3M adhesive on here. So I'm going to remove that. And then basically we just got to line these up. Maybe it goes to the sideways. Oh, can these, these push and pull? Oh, they do push and pull a little bit. They slide for different size sockets. So you might have to play with it just a little bit to find out where they have to be. Oh yeah, Velcro tape for the win. Sure. We'll get there. I usually go through and do cable management last, um, but we'll we'll definitely make sure that that gets all set. So the big thing is this: these little um, screw hole things kind of slide around. I'm just trying to get them in this right spot so they go through this corresponding holes here. Oh, almost. This one's just gonna go in just a tad. Ooh. Yep. 
There we go. And then these screws go through the front. Hey, what's up, Damien? We building the beast. <laughs> it's been a while. I haven't a while. I built I built other computers recently, but nothing nothing as new as this one for sure. So it's nice to get it get a new one. Looks expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pricey. Um definitely no expense spared on this build just because I want it to last. Like the last computer when I built it, it was top of the line stuff. Yeah, and it's and it's that old, and it's lasted this long. Um, but it's just really starting to struggle, you know, as everything else keeps advancing, and the new cameras shoot super high quality footage and super high bit rates. Um, the, it just was really struggling, especially with just being able to render and export videos and just be able to work on them. Um, it was just becoming more and more of a problem that had to be addressed before we can. It really start, you know, we want to be able to crank out the content and make the vids and edit them. And we can't, you know, I can't deal with all that crashing and just slow, 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 slow rendering. And, you know, trying to add effects to videos just slows it down even more. So it's hard to work on a video when you, when you're not sure exactly what's going on in the video because it's going all laggy. it it needs it for sure it's got a usb-c port for the inside where do you pretty sure there isn't a usb-c header on here you gotta run that outside the case and plug it in <clears throat> but anyways flip it back over No, not going to raid the M2 drives. We're just going to have um, just the main, the main one here and uh, the secondary. Well, actually, I'm probably going to be putting in a few more extra ones, um, M.2s that I already have. But right now, it's going to be the four terabyte one just for footage, the one terabyte one just for the operating system and programs. And then I do have another one terabyte um, that I'll probably take out of my old computer and put in here for who knows, maybe Steam games or something like that. But so now that that's in, so th those header pieces we just put in is what this um, CPU cooler is going to put go on to. And then this radiator was going to go into the top of the case here. So we have to find kind of a, a good direction to mount this all. So I usually kind of like to just rough, rough go with it and see where the cords are going to go. Just to make sure that we're not getting any kind of interference or anything with any of the other components like i don't want this like hitting the fans back here or something like that <laughs> so maybe like that although yeah i think like that's pretty good what do you guys think should i go like this here, let me show you guys. Let me let me move the cams around so you can see a little better. So we go cam, we go tam two, and then let's zoom this baby in. Maybe out just a little bit. So I'm thinking like this. Either option one would be kind of like this with them over towards the back here. And that kind of keeps it open and you can kind of see everything and it's not going across. Or the other way, we could go like this. I don't think I like this way as much just because it's already, it's already going over the ram. Or actually this case, we could do, if it'll reach, we can do a back radiator like this. 
Although, eh, I don't know if I even like that one. <laughs> well, thanks for joining everybody. I know this is different than our normal stuff, but you know, we had some, we had some interest, so we thought we'd go for it. I think I'm gonna go um, with the plan where it's gonna be like this in the top, and then it's gonna go out the back here. I think that's probably gonna be the, the best way and look the cleanest. So let's do that. First, I think what I'll do is probably mount the radiator or actually let's mount the fans cause it's gonna be substantially easier to do that outside than it is inside. That's for sure. So let me kind of slide this a little bit. Zoom this back out. Kind of put this right here, this box out of the way boxes for days three Corsair fans and we got to put these babies on and the big thing just like with um just like with the exhaust fan in your tent or something like that pay attention to the your fans when you're putting them in and the arrows the directions for where it's blowing so we want it to blow through the radiator um and out of the case is how i like to run them so we're gonna put these on and then run it that way out of the case and i probably oh yeah there's some openings up there so i want all the fan i want all the fan wires to be facing out the back so that way when it's mounted we won't see it so i'm going to run them run them this way so just i guess pay attention to the orientations of everything and then we're going to go ahead and screw these babies in it's got a little bag of screws right here Yeah, I'm, we're so excited to get the grows going though, guys. Like we've been just dying and this is this is kind of part of it. And once we once once we start germinating, heaven's like, you better just go, you better go ahead and order those computer parts you want. And I was like, oh man, we're going to be getting all this footage and I'm not going to be able to be struggling on editing. So hopefully I'll have this thing ready to go by then. Um, so that way we won't really have any, any major issues. The biggest thing... The building of the computers isn't isn't that hard of a thing or, um, you know, even installing Windows. It's just the getting everything set back up again and like reinstalling all your old programs and getting everything figured out <laughs> and all your passwords and everything logged back in and working right. So that's always a fun pain in the butt. So I imagine that's what's going to be the most time consuming part of this whole ordeal is just getting everything reinstalled and set up again. But as long as I got it all built, I can kind of chip away at that during the week and make sure to get everything installed and set up. It's like these have actually little rubber kind of grommet things. So you definitely don't want to over tighten these and squeeze those grommets too hard. But I know like Norm McGee and some of you other guys were like, oh, get a Mac. No, I can't. I can't. I can't Mac. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got, I'm PC for life. I used, you know, I used to love Macs way back in the day because they used to be awesome for graphic design and stuff like that. And that's all they had. Um, and you used to actually even be able to build your own Mac. You could actually order your parts, pick out your motherboard and stuff like that. Um, but now Mac is just way too, way too in control with, they want to be in control of all the hardware and every component in there. So you have to buy it from them. Like I kind of like the custom customization and the ability that you could do with PCs. Like, you know, every, every component here is one that I picked out and you can't really, you can't do that with a Mac. You can't build your own Macs. And you, you know, most of the time you can't even work on them um, the same as you can like a PC. So I've always been just a PC fan uh, and always like to build my own cause I think it's fun. I won't Mac. I feel you, Herbert. <laughs> you know, Norma out there cheering for the Macs for sure. Like, I mean, they do have their place and they're good. I'm, and I, don't, I really don't know much about the performance of the new M, M1 and 2s. I just know they have a lot of issues in uh, <laughs> compatibility with especially the legacy software and stuff like that, especially for 
uh, photographers and stuff like that. Like I get a lot of, I do tech support. So I get a lot of calls for Max and <laughs> people griping about their M1 or M2 and it's not working with their favorite plugins. Joe, what's up, fam? We building the beast. Building the beast. Getting closer and closer. One I more, fam. So much more stuff, but I don't get it. What? Who is what? What? Mine is nice to export list of installed programs old, from old systems, and then you can install that. Right. I know. We'll do. I'm gonna go through and do all that. The nice thing is, though, because the old computer is still um, operational, I will be able to like you know pull stuff off there easily. Um, just to make sure that you know I have everything I need before I disassemble that computer or let my son <laughs> ravage it for parts that he might want for his computer. <laughs> we'll definitely have worked hard for all of this so I'm, I'm excited for this to work and really i just feel like this computer is an investment like we've talked about just an investment for not only us but the channel and just our ability to do what we want to do so editing is a huge part of what we do in terms of just making videos and content. So if we, if we can't do that or do that reliably, we're going to have some, some issues. So this, <laughs> right. You always got to be positive. It's going to boot. Should we, should we, we try and fire it up at the end here and make sure we get some juice in here. All right, so let's get you back on here. <laughs> as long as it's not me or giving you a bunch of error codes. So there we go. Cooler is all set up with the fan, um, the, the three fans. So this is a pretty, pretty substantial one. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here in this direction, and then we'll go ahead and get the processor secured down. So this still has the protective plastic on it. I'm just going to be real light with it. And uh, don't tell him that the power switch is on the PSU. I always forget that. <laughs> oh, it's on the, before you flip it on the first time. Let's see here. Sorry. I'm, I'm loyal. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see, it's like there's actually two. We can go high with it or we can go low with it. I just kind of want to see where this is going to route to if I go actually maybe like that. The vert space can't go wrong with the triple fan cooler. Right? Ooh, I think I like that maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I should put it in the in the back side, or you can move it up more towards the front. So here, or it can go up here. Up, down. Let's do up. Let me. It takes a second for you to. So let me. Uh, let me see what they say. <laughs> Sean came over and said, what's up? Thanks for dropping by home groceries to say hi. How y'all doing? Yeah. What's up, Sean? How yeah. deep are these screws? I think these are going to be too long. Go low so it doesn't fight with the rear case. Yeah. Go low with it. Whoop. You need a SpaceX one. Need a what? SpaceX, not the small one. My name would be first in line for SpaceX. Of 
What's that? Way H the what? Oh, you know what? There's a chassis thing here. It's hidden. Rick says, well, do you want it in the front or the back? <laughs> you never know. Another hard, hard drive cage up. What's up, Dakota? What up, man? We building we building the beast, so we're gonna have to take this this chassis piece out to get this in there. So now this should go to the back, all the way back, and then this can sit in here like a this, and then we put these screws in. On this baby. What's up, Dakota? Did, had no idea you were doing a live stream tonight, man. We we decided to go for the the new build on the PC and do it live, uh, with what the the members said last night. So we're assembling what is soon to be the new editing editing beast. Do you guys? Says this thing's gonna be thick. I go CPU rad on the incoming and GPU rad on the extract for thermal. Don't know what? Radiator? He's talking about the radiator. I go CPU rad on the incoming and GPU rad on the extract for thermal. So, so you're saying have the CPU radiator blowing inwards? If that's the case, I may have already set it up to be export, um, the... <laughs> Dakota says we didn't know either until we got inspired by a doobie earlier. <laughs> Hell yeah, inspired by a doob. This one is the... Um, Gotta do a live stream together. Heck yeah. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to uh, talk with you and Joe tomorrow too. That's going to be fun. Connections. All right, so putting in all these radiator screws at the moment. But this thing's looking like a beast. Well, they've got 122 people up in this class. <laughs> kind of surprised. There's nothing, uh, nothing cannabis related at the moment. So we're just nerding out, putting together a computer. Well, you know, they know what they came for. Set to be the new editing beast. But what a one Minecraft. I don't know. We're probably going to be doing a lot of Roblox on here. I <laughs> mean, so you know how that goes. Do you want me to help you with that? What's that? I didn't realize you could see it from there. Yeah. 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 So this thing is getting set up. It's going to be pretty sick. Live stream 4K. Let's go, homegirl. Yeah, yeah, 4K. We've been, uh, been doing a lot to invest in uh, getting it dialed in and stuff, but it's been working out pretty sweet. Got the multicam set up so we can do some fun kind of stuff. Um, but we've been really trying to amp it up, just trying to make it a cooler, cooler way to interact. He says, look at those huge intake fans in the front. He's going to have positive pressure. Positive pressure. Well, I set up these radiators. These are going to be all three of these are going to be pulling out. These bat ones in the back are going to be pulling out. The front ones are obviously going to be bringing air in. Um, and then maybe like you said, I'll take the, I'll take the GT or the 949, 4090 and, um, set those up so that it's actually pulling in air and you can mount radiators on the bottom here. So I might put those on the floor and then it would be pulling in just cold air from the, from the ground. And the ground here is pretty, pretty cool cause it is concrete. So, and there's that nice filter on the bottom. <laughs> maybe maybe we i'm definitely might try and play some games just to see how they run on this thing although the last time i fired up a game which is battlefield uh 2142 because i was so pumped that they were finally coming out with one that looked decent but then surprise it was trash <laughs> so that's about the last game i fired up in probably like five years but definitely definitely interested got a bunch of games on steam so it should be pretty sweet to uh 
get into that. So these are, these are all in. I'm just going to go through and screw all these radiator screws in all the way. Make sure it's secure. And then we can mount the CPU cooler and then we can get all that, get all that plugged in. And then we'll go to the, uh, the graphics card, which is like, yeah, the last thing. <laughs> right? After I went to it on my old computer when I built the old i7 uh, 6700K, um, man, just what all the difference that it make and how quiet the whole system ran, I was like, there, there, there is no other way. If you're going to be doing it, uh, you know, might as well do it right. So it should be pretty sweet. So that's all in there. So we can flip this thing up. Ugh. The monster. You want to grab that, babe? You can be the cameraman. Grab that handle. Move the cam. If it's not spinning good, just loosen this. But just remember. I got it. I got oh, it. Oh, okay. Well, mine is when it's not staying. Oh, you're turning, you're turning all the knobs. <laughs> don't clink it. Don't clink the camera. Well, I don't want to clink it, but how do I make it? Okay. So all of these little guys got to get fed through for each of the fan. Looks like there's a good spot right here. Man, I do like this case, how like everything goes behind it. I've never really had a case like this either. So definitely keeps things cleaner looking. And I do have a lot of, uh, I have like a lot, a lot of this kind of rubber tubing that you can mesh cables together in and just makes it all cleaner. So definitely gonna have to go through and do some good cable management on this. That's always, part of a good build for sure. Or at least as, as efficient as you can get the airflow as possible is just gonna help out with your your whole system. I think people are mocking me. Why? Because I said Neil needed this and he deserved this. And they're saying that was heaven. <laughs> I needed it, guys, and I deserved it. Although, I mean, out of everything, I feel like editing is the most time-consuming process of all of it. So if we can speed that up and have less crashes, and it's going to just make life easier all around. Move these around. All of these routed. Oh, you can't even see the wires coming down from that. All right, that's sweet. Let's get the processor cooler mounted. And then we should be about ready for the GPU. So, oop. boop, boop, boop. So this is just gonna basically sit on top of those pins that we set up. And I think I like exactly how this is already all sitting. So all I need is these four thumb screws. And then we're just gonna pop off this cover and then you can see the thermal paste is already applied. We're just gonna set that right on top. Boop. And then just attach the thumb screws. Are you having fun nerding out, babe? Yeah, this pen kind of tastes like ramen to me. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
It's the ramen dank? Yeah, you, of course you can come see. You can put a microphone on so people can hear you. That's why I took it out for you. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's right there. I just want to come see what's going on here. This thing looks fancy AF to me. <laughs> it's the SpaceX of computers. So we'll probably, maybe I'll run through some benchmarks and things after so we can see how, how she performs and we'll post them up. For you guys, if you're interested. Wow. It's really cool. <laughs> cool story, man. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> okay. That's that's my feels. We can peel this off. I kind of like how this is kind of magnet, so you can actually change the position just to make sure if you're going for that fanciness. So there we go. That's all set. I'm pretty pleased with that, though. Like absolutely no wires or anything interfering with the flow. Um, all this is pretty managed. I can probably clean that up a little bit better, but for the most part, um, everything is looking pretty good. Um, so now, yeah, video card and then just mad plugging ins and cable managements. So let me continue to clean up some of this stuff. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. What's up, Terpies? What's up, robots? Now, one of the kids aren't going to college. <laughs> Sorry, kids. All right. So there's this. Here's all these. These go with the cooler for now. Yep, yep, the um, the cooler here already had the compound on there, so that's everything is set there. Actually, this is a part of it, um, so I might as well just get that running through now. This is for all the fans, and then what looks to be the power for the fans, USB only. LTE, oh, do I have an, oh, there is another USB header down here that we can use, so this is going to go here. I believe. Actually, I'm gonna stand it up. Feeding wires through. Here you guys can see the rat's nest we got going on back here. Just feeding wires through. This is the control for the actual A, uh, AIO pump. Here's a bunch of headers and things for that. No, I've definitely used the Corsair um, cooling compound before and it looked like it was pretty, it looked like it was uniform and everything. So we're going to, we're going to go for it. Actually, this one is a fan header, which needs to go back out to the motherboard. L H E. And these are for all of the fans. And then the 
this is see the power and this one is for USB at the bottom Is he banging? Yeah, this is pump header to say it was OPT right next to the CPU channel header. Oh yeah. Yep, it's the optional it's the optional um, plug for the CPU fan. Yep. So that's that's connected in the right spot. All the fans, everything connected except the SATA power adapter, which we will do after we get the graph. Well, maybe we'll get actually do those first. I'm gonna get one. Definitely gonna have to go back through this. All right, let's throw that graphics card in and then we're gonna see if she boots up, guys. And then we're gonna call it good. Lay this back down. No, not yet. We're gonna slide it up right here, try and get out of the way. Just having to say you can't see anything. Clean up, just a little bit of cleanup. All right, video card time. This is what I've been waiting for. Blow. Let's take this out a little bit so you guys can see. Ooh, look at it. We you hand me my water right there, babe? Ooh, thirsty. All right, -da 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 -da. comes with a fancy mouse pad, better. What, you put a mic on, babe, what are you doing? You're over there, you're over there sidelining the chat. Oh, I've never seen my, this is going to be such a massive upgrade from the 1080 GTX I had. And honestly, I think that 1080 GTX had some bad RAM in it. Um, and that's what a lot of my crashing issues were. Um, and just testing black screening and stuff like that. Here, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear now? Can you hear the heaven, the heaven gallery? <laughs> so here we go. So this card has a pre-installed um, cooler. Whew, even this is pretty substantial um, already. So it does already have the cooler. How do they got this on here? Oh, <laughs> with another cooler that we're gonna have to figure out where to mount. Everybody keeps saying that you have discipline because you haven't smoked yet. <laughs> I got all the discipline. Here's the... Um, Here's the fire starter adapter. <laughs> if you guys have heard or read anything about these. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. Hey, hey, hey. No free games I think or? I just want to know that I'm here maybe. Because <laughs> I've been here the whole time, really. Just haven't been mic'd up. Just sitting over there to chat. I did hop on um, Home Grow TV's. Uh, live for a hot second. Oh yeah, I can't wait till we can do some lives once we got the plants popping in here. You guys, we really do have some things in the works. I know he actually mentioned it on his live that we have some things in the works uh, with him. Yeah, we we're excited. Do. We're about to link up in a real big way. So. Let's 
so this behemoth of a behemoth. <laughs> Man, I wonder how these cables are gonna, how this is gonna go with how it sticks out um, because these come out the top of the card here. You know, they do make an adapter um, for this case so you can vertically mount your, um, your, your GPU. So you could do something like this uh, up and down instead of like this. Um, so I think we're, we're going to definitely have to go like this right now. Um, but let's, let's take a look at how that's all going to go. I think we're school of crops. This, this is kind of nerdy me, but it's always fun watching the channel. <laughs> thanks for, thanks for nerding out with us. We know it's a little different than the usual, but there's definitely a lot of, um, that kind of tape protected tape. No clinking. Tape. Yeah, we don't want to clink this baby. You guys, I'm not coming near it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, look at that beauty. So all it's got all the little wraps on it. We'll take all those off before we put them in. Haven't got me on that last one uh, on the computer case. <laughs> definitely. Well, you still could take some tweezers and take that one off. Definitely. I got it off. Oh, I you did? It. I didn't see that part. Take that. Take all these little babies. Whew. Herbert says, I think the cooler should be external and the one big cooler for all things CPU and video and other things. All with one outside cooler. Outside the case? I don't know what any of this means. <clears throat> Sorry, I got some freaking phlegm balls. That's gross. See? All right. So I'm thinking basically this cooler is probably going to go in this bottom portion. Let me see if there's any kind of indication which way these fans are blowing. Really. Norma says thanks for sharing this experience. Oh, of course, Norma. This is, I didn't know if you guys would really be into it as much as me. Maybe I am nerding out, but it's just something different. Um, so this bracket actually go, that goes in the bottom of the case, guys, and it has, you can actually angle it um, and do kind of like that. So I think I'm actually going to mount the radiator on here um, on the bottom. Or actually, well, let's take a look. So it does have the tool, tool list. Um, let's see, go back here to, it does have a tool listing right here. So Hippie you just flip, flip this here. up. Hey guys. Coolest. This one only takes up two slots, so we only have to free up two. And then that big beefy connector. So let's see if it's, I guess, A, if it's going to reach where maybe I might want to put it. Not actually putting it all the way down here. I'm just kind of resting it. So, oh, what do you guys think about that? Hold on. There we go. So see, there's a radiator spot right here. We could we could mount it back there, or we could do it on the bottom. Um, but I, I kind of like that back there. What do you guys think in the back? Does it fit, Craig says? It fits. This is a spot you can actually do a full, um, I forget what it is, 480 millimeter radiator along here. And you can do two 480s hey, hey guys, along the top and the bottom. Us. Sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> Go ahead and say that again. What? I'm, I think I was talking over you, so go ahead and say what you were saying again. Oh, I was just asking if they thought this was a good spot to put this radiator. Maybe. Yes, oh, like that. in the back, right there, right there, no bottom. Flip radiator, so tubes are on top. There we go. All right. We, I guess we, we think in the same things. All right. So what I'm going to do first, I want to take 
um, everything I've read online and everything I've seen about this, this is the mega connector because this thing draws so much power. <clears throat> it's going to take four, um, it takes four eight pin PCI power plugs from the, um, power supply. But the big thing is these things were starting to kind of melt on some of these cards if they're like plugged in improperly or not fully seated correctly. Um, so almost everything I read online said to plug this in um, securely before installing the card and then make sure um, that you do not do a very intense bend on these. So you try and keep this coming as straight out from the card as you can and then bend as far away as you can for the cables to go down. <clears throat> just to avoid any stress on the connector, make sure everything stays seated. And because if it's not plugged in fully, um, there's a high risk that it could melt because there can be up to 600 watts um, flowing through this. So let's, let's hope we don't have no meltdowns. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it in here on the um, computer and just make sure that it's 100% seated securely before we put it into the computer. Um, and that will just make sure that we don't have any kind of stress um, or less stress on your PCI plug in the computer. Because um, trying to push this in securely inside the computer might be a lot of stress on the motherboard in that slot. So that's good. Let's go ahead and put this baby in. We're going to do this up. And then with these, you're pretty much just lining them up and sliding it into the spot. Display port plugs. There we go. Don't clink it. Don't. Not gonna clink it. Don't worry, guys. He didn't get high again yet. <laughs> One thing, <laughs> it does look like that, um, that, remember that, um, so here's the PCIe uh, M.2 drive. The other one is right underneath. I think it might, the video card might be resting on top of it. So I think I might want to go back and actually move that one. So something that you run into, I guess, you can't really know about until you're getting into the thick of it. Back up the thick of it. What's that? Backyard again. We used to watch that a long time ago. All right, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna redo that then. Although, dang, how can Did you it even? Did it click in? Oh no, I'm just wondering like how, oh, there it is. So it, it, yeah, it didn't fully seat um, because it's basically hitting that, that cooler. Take this whole thing out and we're gonna move this to a different location. We'll put it down here. I'm gonna have to take this off. So you're going down there now, <laughs> which I think that should be, I think these are all, um, PCIe four gen. Even said just slots. move the card down. Well, this top one is the PCIe 5X, um, 16X slot or the PCI Gen 5. So I, I want to keep the video card in there because this is going to be the fastest, uh, fastest spot for it for sure. So we should be good now here. Let's 
redo. Dusty says move them both for the sake of OCD. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Fully, fully secure now. Flip this, boom, that thing is locked in there. No flex on that, that ain't going anywhere. So definitely happy with that. And now all we gotta do is get this radiator mounted. So I'm thinking we'll go here just because these hoses, that one is a little, a little tight. Or we could go down. Go down. Look at this. What do you guys think about that? Let's do the back. So I think, pretty sure that came with some screws for mounting. There we go. Flip this up. Make sure this don't go flying. Three. All right. So there is a bunch of spots here to secure this radiator. Although, let me see something. Kind of the way they got these ties on here, I kind of, I wonder if I could go down with it like this. I don't like that as much. Kevin says, try to mount at the top by the other rad. Oh, up here. Although mm, it looks like what that's going to do here. If I can spin this around and hold here, hold on. So if I went up top, it looks like, so I could put it here, although maybe could go there, kind of crisscrosses everything. I think what I'm going to, I think I'm going to go back here and do it this way though. The only issue I was having is because they have these plugs here, it was kind of hitting. Actually, I could probably remove something out of big, huge wad of Velcro on these, I could probably take that off and make it a little thinner. There we go. All right, Roblos. I, I see you mocking me out there in the chat. <laughs> there we go. Something he does like... need it though. It's if you needed. guys could see what his last computer was doing to us several, several times, and all I could see is just anguish in Neil's eyes. Rage, you mean? I'm oh, gonna sorry. Call it, I'm going to call it anguish. <laughs> Literally put the computer in to render overnight, wake up, just freaking nothing I know he he comes to bed at like two in the morning and sometimes he'll be like this is gonna take 24 hours to render <laughs> so. and then I wake up in the morning and it crashed halfway through and I'm just like are you effing kidding me the last the last um the room finishing one took like three um three render attempts before it finally made it through and that was just I just that old computer Can 
definitely. <laughs> Rowdy says, Neil's video card costs just as much as my whole computer. <laughs> well, oh, here's the thing though. We have a lot of content that we do really have to create and there's only one spot that that happens. And if it doesn't, I mean, if it doesn't go right, it, it, our whole channel could, I mean, it really does depend on having something that's going to be dependable or not. Like, if you need to get somewhere, are you not going to have a dependable car? Like, you will. So this is kind of the same, same thing. We're going to have a dependable beast computer. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be dependable. And, and it will last us for as, you know, hopefully yeah. a while. And that was, you know, that's how we set up our gross too. Like, we want the longevity of, of being able to use these things for a while. The yeah. whole room was uh, kind of based on that concept. And if we skimp on this last thing that, you know... I feel like in the most important thing, the thing that actually gets us through, I think that it's, I think it's worth it. And I think Neil does need it. And I think he does deserve it. So I know you're out there mocking me in the chat, but I really feel that way. Man, I really, I really wish they, they should have put these on like a 45 degree angle um, coming out of there. I don't, I don't, I'm not loving this, but it is probably the best it's going to be. It's definitely going to touch that side panel um, when it's on there. But this, so now this monstrosity connector still fully seated. Just to check and make sure no movement on that. So now we just got to get these <laughs> four. I don't know. I don't know. Can you run three out of the four or do you have to run all four um, for a 490? I was kind of reading online and I saw kind of mixed information on that. But I guess I'm not sure. So that thing, that thing's set. Let's make sure this thing has enough of these uh, eight pins. So here's a PCIe. Here's one. An eight pin. Although I'm assuming you probably shouldn't put two, um, like these, this has an eight pin and it has a dual header. Um, I'm guessing you probably don't want to dual header this. You want each one to have its own power cable, basically. So here's another two, three. Look at these OG Molex adapters. Thanks, thanks for all those. I wasn't trying to say anything bad. I'm just saying. <laughs> Four. So literally four of these, a lot of them are just the dual header pins, but we're not even gonna be using those. So here we go. What's gonna be the best least cable stress on these? Going out the Dusty bottom? Dusty says single header. Going out the side. Like, gonna have to I'm been trying to bend these as far away as possible but the, I mean the case is gonna have to go the, the the door is gonna have to go on like how can you not bend that somewhat I forget what they said 32 millimeters I think it was is like the bend radius it wants for those can you put it off to the side well that I mean that is off to the side you mean like well, I mean, that's not bend bending. That's kind of just putting it down. It's not right. Like you're, it's not like you're 90 degree in it. Let's just see. <clears throat> just a test fit with the side panel. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just your first <laughs> <made for>. nice. <laughs> So, yeah, if I do put this side panel on, clip it in, it did. Yeah, it's going to definitely touch on that. But I don't think there's anything you can really do about that other than... Ruin this clean looking setup once I get all these cables managed. Although I also, I don't really like, I don't really like how this is going. I don't really like the looks of that, but I guess functionally it will work.
They say smoke break. <laughs> smoke break. I, you know what? You guys can listen to me go upstairs and take a smoke break. You don't have to go upstairs. There's one right here. Uh-oh. It is unconnected. Clinked it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I clinked it. I unconnected myself. I don't know where my, uh, the lighter is or else I would have been so There's a light. It's literally right there. Where? Yeah, some of these are already high. Oh, there is. A... I'm, I'm right. off the side. I'm still just, you know. Okay, I was already ready. Already the ready. Bo <laughs> the bowl was already the bong was pre-packed from a bang. <laughs> Eat that, Suze. So we're going to go through and plug in all these cords. Oh boy, that one hits you. That one hits you? Woohoo! Right in the face. <laughs> Sorry guys. That's what I do when I take hits. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know, um, so the header up here, because the, the, the motherboard also has two 8-pin PCIe slots, can you double can you double header those ones? Or is it better to have a separate one for each one of those on the motherboard too? I guess I've never had a motherboard that has two of them, um, and I haven't looked into it, but I would I would definitely like to, because that it's using two of these um, individual ones, eight to eight, and I'd rather have um, you know four of those going to the video card than four, um, split pin ones. Hold on, what? Oh. <laughs> um, Skizzy wants to know the new Mephisto that we're growing. We are doing the very, very new iced and baked, actually. Uh, she just popped, just popped, just actually just checked during the stream and she just popped. So pretty excited about that one. That's a very, very new one. Iced and baked, it's a new one. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. I'm excited because it's a, it's gotta be a sweet one, right? It's gotta smell sweet. Those are my favorite ones. That's right. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Craig asked, is there more fans? Does that MOBO have a 10 GB NIC? Um, yes. 10 it, I, gigabyte, sorry. Yeah, I think it does have a, the 10 gigabyte uh, NIC. So it's the, um, NIC. it's the gigabyte uh, Z790 Aorus Master. Um, so if you guys want to look that up, that's the, that's the MOBO. And I'm realizing something as I'm looking through this power supply in the connectors. It would appear that I don't have another, I don't have a, a fourth uh, eight pin connector for this. This, I thought this one, no, this is a, this is not one. This is OG Somebody said moment. you only have two, so you need to double up something. The PSU doesn't care. The PSU. Can you double those? I don't up? know what these words mean. I'm just reading. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I, I, I'm just being honest. I don't want to sound stupid, but I probably do. Yeah, because these ones that are labeled. Because um, in reality, I kind of am when it comes to this. These ones that are labeled, uh, it says CPU on them. But this one won't plug into it. It definitely is not fitting. The connectors are not the same. Even Craig says, without even thing. looking at the board, I'd go separate rails to GPU. The new PS, the new PSUs are smart and can manage power draw. So maybe three to 
GPU. I, I've seen, I've definitely because I've definitely seen people say that you can run them with only three um, three of the eight pins going to it. I do have a, a cable matters cable coming for this that should be direct to this um, power supply, so it'll get rid of all this monstrosity right here. So everybody seems to agree that it'll it'll still fire up if I just plug those in. <laughs> PCU and PCI cables are key different. Don't force it. Yeah, they're they're definitely key different. I noticed that. All right. God, this rat's nest back here is pretty legitimate. I'm going to have to definitely go through that. Other than that, I think we're, everything is in here as about as good as it's going to get for the moment, which that might, that's <laughs> probably it for tonight though. The real question is, do we just plug this thing in and see if it at least turns on? <laughs> no monitor or anything hooked to it yet. Just double check. I might actually have an extra one in my old power supply, an eight pin. Uh, but I don't know if that's necessarily needed. And what is this it's for? I don't have any more USB headers on the motherboard. Rowdy says, "Turn it on. If it's not allowed, I'm sure you'll get a get a message." <laughs> <laughs> right? What's not plugged in? Do, 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 do. You don't have a monitor? Um, not not down here connected to it. Plus there's no there's no operating system anyways, so it's not gonna not going to do anything. Okay. Ooh. Moment of truth. Should we put the side panel on for effect or just leave it open? Now let's just leave it open. Ba -da -ba -da. Grab the screen. They said it'll take two minutes. Two minis? I think there is a monitor just sitting right outside the screen. Yeah, but with no OS, it's just going to be a black screen with some blinkety bloops. All right. You know what? Let me see what I got. Blink bloopity bloops? You know, the blinkity bloops. No, I, d I don't know, actually. I have no <laughs> idea. I have zero idea what you're talking about. I don't even know where I'm going to put that. I, I talked him into it, guys. I think he's grabbing a monitor. <laughs> Blinkies are progress. Somebody what? says blinkies are progress. <laughs> All right. We got the, the old view Sonic, but without an operating system, it's probably not going to be too exciting. Other than maybe a post screen. OG HDMI. Oh my gosh, is it gonna work? Is this like the moment of truth? Is this like the th a thing? 
think so. What if it's like completely perfect the first time? <laughs> He'd laugh. Oh. Well, that's just, that's just the. Uh, let me let me get excited. Let me get. Oh yeah, yeah. Like me, please. What did you do here? Like, I, really crazy. Yeah, I really you. did. I was really scared because you always get so mad about like. <clears throat> Mad. Anything your computer just just concerned when in in any I know any my baby when my babe's close to anything that's um, breakable or expensive it's, so at, no, it's so potentially really, at risk. So no, I just really tightened it. So I was like, nope, this baby's not moving. <laughs> Sorry. All right, all right. Here, let's get this. Just maybe we can get a little bit more. Get this up just a little bit. All right. Let's see what happens. Is this thing gonna blow up? Which one's the power? Shh, don't say things like that. Why? Don't put that karma in the air. We think positive thoughts here. There's zero negatives. Oh, here we go. Be doop be doop. Uh oh. Mistakes are always just learning experiences, you know? You're right. You are right. You know, power supply, we were talking about that. Probably helps if I flip that. Hopefully that was just it. Oh! Oh my gosh! Get out! Unleash the beast! How cool was that? Oh man, she sounded like a wind tunnel. Let's see what's going on. I don't hear any beeps. I see an OD. Doesn't look like this display is getting anything. Yeah, I just see the lights. They're pretty. Right? Is that a good sign though? Is the lights a good sign or is it not a good sign or does that just happen? Um, well, I mean, the lights means it's getting power and everything's powering up. I don't know. Uh, I, guess, I guess I don't really know if there's no display, although you'd think there'd be something. Somebody help. What's that? I said somebody help. Somebody help. I don't even know if this one has an input select on it. Maybe yeah. It, was it off? It might have been. What would happen if it was, like, working? Would it, like, does it have, like, like... Well, no, with no operating system or yeah, anything. Yeah, I was going to say, does it's it have gonna, a system on it? Yeah, it's not gonna like load Windows or anything. So what's that mean? Okay, so it's it's working. That was <gasps> it's the, working? that was the boo up. <gasps> oh Bios. my gosh, what's that? Ooh, look oh, at it gosh, go! Oh my gosh, you guys! Look at it, it go! Works. Cool. So wow, babe, you are brilliant. <laughs> so we can see it's recognized the uh, 13 Gen Core i9 13 900K, 64 gigs RAM, running at five. 5.5 gigahertz CPU at 30C right now. Whew, everything looking good. No windows or anything loaded on it yet, um, but it's looking pretty sweet. Let's take you guys in. So apparently you can run with just the three on there right now. Not sure I really love that whole cable management setup. Um, but it is what it is for right now. There's the back radiators. That one's for the GPU. Airflow coming in. Ooh, nice and cool in there. Radiators coming out the top. So, that, that thing looks so dope, babe. Right? It's super cool. Oh, that's kind of neat. Team up. You know how much it says you love team the up. It's going to say fire up. So there's the. It will match cooler. your little pad and your new keyboard perfectly. Right. Did you do? Th you totally. I'm. My my mind does not do anything not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it turned out pretty good, guys. I think everything um, here is good. Now it's just going to be loading. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to bite the bullet and go with the Windows Seven Pro, um, or <laughs> Windows Seven, Windows Eleven Pro, just because. I've been reading on that and they've really done a lot of optimization to the um, operating system just to make sure it takes advantage of all the cores that this thing has. Uh, so I think we're gonna end up going go, or going with that and doing a fresh install of Windows 11 Pro and just bite the bullet and get used to it. 
um, just because even Windows 10 is kind of on its way out now with Microsoft going to be dropping it. So good, good call. We'll probably let it run overnight. Probably what I'll do then during the day um, tomorrow is go through the whole back and cable manage because it is a rat's nest. So I definitely want to get that all clean. Um, bundle it up in some cable bundle and stuff like that. So just airflow, no dust is gonna get clogged or anything like that. But here we go. We're gonna get the windows installed and then uh, I'll probably post up some benchmarks or something for you guys fun if you're interested in nerding out like that. But I think the next nerding out with Neil we were talking about and a bunch of you guys on lives were wanting to see on the controller 69. So for these controllers, like how do you set them up? How do you program your fans and your lights and all that stuff? Um, so we could do that live and just sit down and, and do like a, some cool shots so you could see how to program those and go through them. But as far as that, that's it, guys. The, the beast is done. The editing put rig. The, put the thing on. I want to see it like complete. Oh, the side case? Yeah, I want to see it like. Okay. As, as you guys like got to a... see the front of this thing though. Yeah. Well, hold on. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oof. If he didn't stay up all night last night building this thing, he's going to stay up all night tonight <laughs> doing a whole lot of things. I'm gonna, I am I know. You're probably right. <laughs> he knows I'm right. That's why he's not <laughs> saying anything. You're right. I'm going to have to go through all this and make sure. Oh, yeah. Definitely got to change the... Um, Go into the XMP profiles because the RAM will go like way faster than that into the five gigahertz range. So definitely want to do that. Let me throw that side case on like you're talking about, babe. Woo! This battery pack. It's like zooming up in on your up here. That's like Super pleased with how easy this goes on. You literally just drop it on and it just snaps at the top. The only thing we got to be careful is this freaking beefy power situation. I don't want to flex on that too much. How cool is that? Right? It did turn out pretty sweet. Wow, that... Look at you, fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> you are so fancy. You like that fancy? Oh, I like that. <laughs> get, this, <laughs> get this monitor out of here. She is one beautiful Ooh, Gotta get a pic for the gram. Wow, you guys, what do you think? How just brilliant is Neil over here? <laughs> brilliant. I don't know. Mm, I think really? I think you're smarter than computers you, you are pretty. Computers are pretty easy to put together. Like most things can only go on there one way. So as long as you're not forcing it, you're you're in a pretty good shape. I feel like the most time-consuming part now is going to be getting all the operating system set up, getting all the programs on there, and and set back up, and how I like them with all the settings. So that's going to be, and mm -hmm. plus uh -huh. the rat's I nest can, of I cables. I can just imagine how. How you're gonna obsess for just a little while at least right <laughs> definitely for a little while look at the so the back and this thing is like a double wide situation here you guys you see the power supplies vertical on the side tons of ports for connections and then yeah definitely gonna go through this tomorrow and just clean up this monstrosity uh, just because it's just a rat's nest right there. So definitely don't want that. Running so cool. Apparently it doesn't even need the power supply fan right now. That should ramp up as needed. But yeah, super impressed. And uh, for the most part, pretty quiet. Maybe swap out some of those fans for the Nocturnas, which are even quieter, I think, uh, personally. But overall, you don't. Know, you earned... You are you earned a bong hit, everybody say? Yeah? Let's do it. You got to come over here with me, though. <laughs> Is this computer going to suck it up in, like, a wind tunnel and just... I don't know, but I don't want to bring the bong around this thing right now. Can you do something with it? How... Do something with what? The or computer? Maybe you should just move this out of the way, the whole table, and I'll bring the I bong I don't like in. that idea. What do you mean? Why? It's on... Why don't else? we just right here? We're fine. Okay. I'm... Just... I don't want to clink it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> she gonna clink it. 
the top view, big old beefy. You can see here's the one radiator that we installed, but there's enough room over here for a whole nother big one right next to it if you wanted to. This case, case is pretty ridiculous. I guess I wasn't planning for one that was just gonna be this freaking massive. Huh. I didn't really look you at You guys, the when this size thing when showed up, it. I was like, what the f what is what is this? <laughs> this is all one computer? That's not 30 of them? Because that looks like Where's the solitaire? Where's the ski freeze? <sighs> yeah, no kidding. Spider, where are you at? Where's my where's my mines? <laughs> where's my minesweeper? <laughs> You guys think this can play Minesweeper? Or, uh, I don't know if we got the power, honestly. <laughs> Cheers, fam. Thanks for hanging out. Let me switch over to the number ones. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I know this is something kind of completely different, but if you nerd out. I want to nerd out about plants. I have nothing. I don't know how computers work in a real way. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> I just need that just computer. It's pretty bong hit, though. <laughs> I'm super happy it works, and um, I'm I'm ready to nerd out about plants because you guys, I didn't even since you're here, <laughs> let me just show you something I want to nerd out about, and that is all these seeds that I just received today that I didn't think were gonna be here until this weekend. So um, I. I, I put on the goals this week, grow it's store one, trip, and I wanted to, I wanted to. You are the grow store trip was the plan this week? I want, it's got, it's got to be in there. It's this, this week's <coughs> going to happen. Do you want me to fill this for you? I wanted to go today, but Neil. We were nerding out today. Neil needed to, <laughs> he needed it, you guys. So don't mock me. Don't mock me. <laughs> I'm like so at home right now. You guys don't even know. I don't even have socks on. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Ben. I love how it follows me. You like that? Oh. <laughs> Cheers, guys. What if you walk behind the computer and lose you? I don't know. The computer talking to you. <laughs> oh, now it's got me. All right, all right, all right. <coughs> you guys are awesome. Oh, you're short enough. You just fit right up there. Go ahead, babe, front and center. Well, I don't want this thing to. Oh yeah, don't, don't clink any cords. I don't want to clink any cords. I'm just going to get up in here. I'll get, I'll get over here. What's this thing? Is this? <coughs> mouse pad. Anybody need a mouse pad? Hmm? 50K, 50K giveaway is coming up real soon, guys. We've been talking to um, some of our sponsors. We're trying to get some dope prizes lined up. Um, but stay tuned because it's most likely next Sunday live because we're, we're probably going to hit 50K pretty soon. But we're probably just going to wait till the next Sunday live and then just do a giveaway and that would be sweet. But I think we we good. <coughs> Man, this stream was this close. This stream was this close to not being restricted. You can cut this out. No, it's too late. Susan already seen. Susan has already seen it. I know it. All right. Thanks for hanging out, guys, and everybody for watching the nerd the nerdgasm that took place tonight. Still some work to do, but Congratulations to School of Crop. We're all hooked up. <coughs> Taps the glass bong on the glass panel. I tapped the glass glass bong on the sink over there. Tink. tink. <laughs> we all, all right. know the sound. <laughs> Mouse pad for 50K. You guys are going to get a free one. There's a block light in the background. The tents are better. <coughs> we do have a green screen, too. We're actually going to do some fun stuff, but... Have a great night, guys. We're going to wrap this up. It's almost 10 o'clock. Got to work tomorrow. Um, but thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you guys real soon. And hopefully a new video edited on this beast even sooner. Good job, babe.